Welcome back, Cardboard Warriors. Hope everybody's having an awesome day out there. Uh, so I'm going to open another box of Commander Legends. I feel like I just haven't opened enough of this product yet. Uh, there's so many products out there right now, it's hard to keep up. And the, the finances are not looking pretty. But we're going to open another one of these, uh, see if we get any of these big hits. You know, the obviously the Jewel Lotus is the, the big dog right now. And then the, I still haven't pulled the Vamp Tutor out of one of these boxes yet. And, of course, the Mana Drain is doing pretty good. So, some really good cards in the set. Uh, I, I think this may be the sixth box I've opened. Fifth or sixth box. Um, I think sixth box. But, anyways, let's break into it. See what we get. See if we get anything good. Anything tasty. I guess we'll put that over there. Put the packs in. Definitely need one of those big hits to pay for the box. Uh, uh, of course, because... Uh, these aren't terribly expensive still, considering you know, how long they've been out, but they are still a little bit pricey. They're still you know, over 100 a box, uh, about 100, 510 or so a box, I think, uh, is about the cheapest you're going to find them right now. So, Nibbin Rolls Disc for our first rare. But there's a lot of good Commander staples in here, so this set will probably age pretty decently. We'll see. Uh, the box prices compared to what's coming out now, Immaculate Magistrate is uh, actually pretty good because <laughs> the this new Modern Horizon coming out, the prices are unbelievable on that. It's ridiculous how expensive those boxes are. So I'm not sure how much of the Modern Horizons 2 I'll be able to get, which is a bummer. I mean, they put fetch lands in there, but yeah, I don't know how many people are going to get. They... They said, that's a Court of Cunning and a Zara, and then just another Foil Common. So, they said, what, last year that you would get Fetch Lands in a, in a substantial print run or whatever, you know? And, yeah, they put it in a thing that costs, or right, Reverse Mythic, the Hellcake Courser. Uh, they put it in a box that costs $400, you know? Yeah, like, okay. A lot of people are going to be able to open a lot of those and get a lot of fetch lands, yeah. So they're still really hosing the players on the fetch land thing by the looks of it. We'll see. We'll see what happens with it, but definitely doesn't look like they're going to be... Oh, Vessel, great card. Uh, was worth a lot till this reprint. <laughs> Armored Sky Hunter. And that's it. So, it, I don't know how many... <laughs> The average player is not going to get very many fetch lands out of this uh, out of this Modern Horizons 2. In fact, the average player isn't going to get very much out of Modern Horizons 2 by the looks of it. Uh, the prices are just off the charts. Ridiculous Necrotic Hex. And a Jessica for our first Mythic, or second Mythic. And a Rings of Brightheart for our first rare foil. And it's a good one. Bright Hearth, whatever. So, there we go. Decent pack there. Not bad at all. Uh, still, you know, nothing, nothing big on the financial front here, but we'll keep looking. Hopefully we get something good. I got to work on, uh, keeping the cards in the center of the screen here. I've been having trouble with that lately. I'm trying to do these really early. Ember Wild Captain, I'm not paying attention. And an uncommon ball. All right, last pack of stack number one. And here we go. I'm only half awake when I'm doing these because I'm doing pretty early in the morning for me. <laughs> Sakashima's Will, not the Sakashima we want. Bilby, not a bad rare. And a full common. All right, stack number two. We're a third of the way through the box. So far, nothing spicy. Nothing terribly spicy, anyway. Some decent stuff, but a lot of people aren't uh, caring about the foils these days. Court of Iron. Uh, the foil prices are less than the standard prices in some cases. I'd say a lot of cases. Especially this set because the foils tend to pringle quite a bit in this one. Huh, it's just not common around. So, we'll see what happens with that. But, uh, yeah, the, the foil, the regular foils tend to pringle. I don't know why they didn't just switch over to etch foil and everything. Uh, I thought that's what they were going to do. I always blub, Quain, and Gore Muldrock. And a Sky Diamond and a Prismatic Piper. There's a lot of rares on that pack. Too bad they weren't better rares. 
think Gore's doing okay. Worth a few bucks. Yeah. Keep going. Where's the where's the big hits? Command Beacon. And a Hans. I get so many Hans in this set. <laughs> I have a ridiculous amount of Hans there. So it's not even funny. Alright. Go in there. And Blade Griff prototype. And that's it. Oh, a blasphemous axe for a second fall rare. I keep track of the fall rares and the mythics. Yes, we don't have a whole lot of mythics yet. I'm two halfway through the box. Only got two mythics. And it's a little, a little scary. A little bit scary. Uh, austere command. And fall and go. All right. All right. Where's the, where's the good stuff? Come on, box. The last box of Commander Legends I opened wasn't that great either. Didn't get any of the big hits in that one. So you really kind of need the big hits to... Oh, finally. It's about time. <laughs> finally got the Vamp Tutor. Oh, man. I've been wanting this since since the set came out. This was like the main card I wanted to pull. And I keep it keeps avoiding me. Finally, what? Six boxes in, I finally get it. <laughs> Livio. And that's it. Cool. Finally got the Vamp Tutor. So only three Mythics, but the Vamp Tutor is one of them, so I'm happy. Got one of the big hits. Uh, yeah, you got to get one of those big hits to really uh, justify the, the box price. Even though, uh, like I said, I think they're underpriced. Elvis Dreadlord. But that won't be very long. I'm sure somebody we know who will make a video about how underpriced they are and then the price will double overnight like they always do when he makes those videos. I wish he'd stop making those videos because I really can't afford the cards already, dude. <laughs> stop making them more expensive. Uh, Sakashima's protege. Again, not the Sakashima we want. Obeka. Nice little uh, commander card there. And another prismatic piper. Alright, last stack. What are we going to get? We did get the Vamp Tutor. Will we get a Jewel Lotus and make this like the most epic box ever? Because that would be awesome. Alright. And Court of Grace. And Niven Roll. And a Crook the Thumbless for our first Etch Foil. So... Yeah, I don't know why they're not doing all the foils and the etching. Uh, I don't know if it costs more money or takes more time or what, but um, it's better than the Pringles cards. <laughs> Arcane Signet, great uncommons in this set. Aura Phoenix, and nothing in the back. And a common foil. All right, getting down there. Six packs to go. My voice all cracking because I'm not quite awake yet. <laughs> all right. Maul's Wheel, and an Elegath, and an Open the Armory Foil. Not a bad, uh, not a bad foil uncommon to get. Uh, I think this is the, this is the uncommon that's probably gonna surprise everybody in the future. I mean, it's a tutor for two. Uh, yeah, it only goes after auras or equipment, but, I mean, you can do a lot with auras and equipment these days, so... Any tutor for two uh, with no drawbacks, yeah, I'm down. I'm going to grab those. Opposition Agent, great rare. One of the most expensive rares in the set. And there we go. So, is it the most expensive or the second most expensive? I don't know. The uh, price will probably change tomorrow anyway. So, All right. <laughs> That's just how these cards work. The cardboard life. All right. Body of knowledge. And that's it. All right, we got three packs left. Come on, we need some more spiciness. We only got three mythics. Three mythics in the whole box so far. That's terrible. We need more mythics. Uh, nobody can afford the collector's boxes. Oh, our first land, the spectator seating. And a bell borka. That's a nice rare. And a common foil. All right, two packs left. Can't believe we only got one land and three mythics so far. This is. Uh, very weird. Now, one of the Mythics was obviously an amazing hit, so that makes up for it, but still. There we go. Archon of Coronation, a Mythic nobody cares about, <laughs> and another Common Foil, and another Piper. All right, last pack. Will we get anything spicy? Is there a Foil Jewel Lotus in here? Borderless Jewel Lotus, maybe? Something nice? We haven't got any Borderless cards yet. It's possible, <laughs> although very unlikely. 
Four mythics, but we get a fifth. Oh no, but we got a Rings of Bray Hearth, great rare. And a Nimrus, and another Edge Foil. All right, so there we have it. We got only one of the land cycle, just one rare land cycle, that's kind of weird. Two Edge Foils, uh, two Foil Rares though, Blast from Mass Act, and Rings of Bray Hearth, decent rares for foils. And then our four mythics, we got a Hellcat Courser, a Jessica, a Vamp Tutor, and an Archon of Coronation. Obviously, a Vamp Tutor being the best hit in the box. Uh, definitely, I don't regret opening the box because I got the Vamp Tutor, but it was a pretty weak box aside from that. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Check out the description below. There's a lot of good links to save you money, get your cash back on all your purchases, uh, cheap prices. Uh, the cheapest prices I've been able to find so far on the pre-orders for the... Um, the new set there, Modern Horizons 2 coming out. So if you need those fetch lands, jump on that. Uh, also check out an older video of mine called the Armed and Dangerous Pack because there's actually three fetch lands in that uh, pre-con deck. So as well as a Coco, a collected company in there. So and some other really good cards. That deck is amazing and I think that's hugely underpriced to this day. Uh, it should be like a $50, $60 deck. You can still pick them up for like 30 bucks. So check it out. Um, it's an older video on mine in the pre-con playlist. Um, yeah, the Armed and Dangerous deck. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. Check out some other videos while you're here. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.